What's up out there? It is finally time for the impending darkness fight itself. I will have released a video for all of the gearing choices that I made. I'm not going to discuss any of that in this video. We're just going to do the fight. My plan for this is to show you the choices that I make on the debuffs that I have to take. And then I'm going to skip through all the monster stuff. You're not going to see any of that. If you've either done it or I've got another video that shows impending darkness, I don't want to have a big two hour video of this. I expect this to take many hours to do. And in fact, I may break this up into different sections because this is a very long fight. You basically, if you've never done this fight, what you have to do is go through uh, Shrouded Badlands, Perilous Peaks, Dark Waters, and Unhallowed Wasteland. And the order you typically run them in, at least it used to be, was Unhallowed Wasteland first, knock that out of the way, Dark Waters, Shrouded Badlands, and then end up in Perilous Peaks, which puts the boss in the Perilous Peaks fight. So that's the one you want to end up with. Now you are able to swap gear out as this goes. The big thing that you have to concern yourself with is the enemies heal uh, percent of their current hit points every two turns in the unhallowed wasteland. The rest of this doesn't matter. Your attack interval, yeah, you can deal with that. The accuracy rating, some of that's not bad. This is the worst one because fighting the skeletal dragons and the uh, spiked red claws and all that really sucks. Now I probably should have combat tested every one of these fights we're gonna hit get the go button and jump into it but uh, i have not tested the fights against everything i fought the lagar and worms but i don't know we haven't got to the rest of them yet i do have my handy dandy cheat sheet so i'll throw this up on my second screen basically this is the way i used to run things the list up top are the lists that i prefer to use against this is the debuffs that you take so the lists, uh, number items one through six are the ones that I prefer to take. Eight through 13 are the ones that I prefer to ignore. And 100% chance to ignore stuns and freezes and immune to sleep, that one sucks. It, the boss is immune to stun, freeze, and immune. Uh, the boss is immune to all of that anyway, but none of the stuff you fight along the way are immune. And the, I think the wiki actually recommends that as like the number one choice because it does, you can't apply it to the boss. What it doesn't take into account, at least it used to, uh, I don't know if it still recommends that, but what the problem is, all the stuff you fight along the way is not immune to that. So when you take this, it makes everything you fight immune to it. So if you could stun it, and typically I would have all the rings and, and gloves and stuff that apply stun for melee, that totally stops you from doing that, which sucks. You don't want that. And then healing 4% uh, of their hit points every so often and all that, that all sucks. Slayer negation, Slayer area effects. This one might not be too bad to take because you can get around that much easier, but you don't want that. Back in the day, it was a lot more, you were right on the edge of being able to survive it. So you didn't want this one. Uh, chance to apply affliction. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want them having lifesteal. You don't want them having more max hit, more attack interval or more or, or less attack interval and less evasion. You don't want that. I definitely do not like the apply burn because when you're trying to manually heal, that burn constantly ticks and wastes food, meaning you're, it makes the fight take so much longer. So I avoid all of these. The rest of these kind of suck. Ignore slow effects and, and uh, quicker attack interval. Okay, whatever. It's not that big a deal. A little bit more damage reduction and global evasion. I Okay. Applying poison. Okay. It's not that big a deal. Um I would probably put this one with the the burn, but the burn is worse because it lasts longer and ticks off more or ticks more often. The max hit points and and uh, this might be 200. Some of, the, some of this might be a little different because I might have last ran adventure mode. So this might be, I can't remember if this is 2000 for adventure mode or 20,000, but the extra hit points are max and max hit whatever these are all the ones you want so i'm going to throw that off on my second screen and we are going to start the dungeon which means coming over here and clicking on the event we're going to start the event you can't get out we're going to start and our first choice is plus 10 percent max hit this is on the no-go list we don't want that so we don't want the burn at all and you're basically going to have to pick five of these so right off the bat, we have plus 20% max hit and minus 10% max. This is like the very first one on my list. So I'm going to 
tab over on that. So I've got that one selected. Now everything else grays out. You can do no other combat until you complete this event or run. So if I get a bad roll on one of these, like if I get three of the ones that I don't want, I'm going to stop the event and, and then restart. So you may not even see this recording. I may just tell you, hey, I've started the event several times and that's kind of where we're at. So what we need to do is start with Unhallowed Wasteland. So we're going to start here and be instantly ready to switch to ranged. And we need to keep an eye on our damage reduction over here. These do burn, frost burn, poison, stuff like that. I don't have to worry about much of anything aside from these stacks, except for switching out to monsters. I don't have to worry about stun, even though they can do stun and freeze. They don't do extra damage. So as long as my stacks don't get over with 441, the stacks that build up give you reduced damage reduction. So that's actually lowering your damage reduction down, but we're doing good right now. The first few iterations of this aren't bad. It's when you get later on into it. Uh, so we go back to this. So I'm going to do these fights and then I will catch you at the boss portion of it. And that way you don't have to sit through this whole thing. Alrighty, so here we are with Bane. Now, the one we're going to have to worry about is sleep. He does, he can avoid stun, freeze, and sleep, and, and curses, and all that, and slows, but he deals sleep, so we have to worry about that. That is suffocate. Um, gives, gives the enemy immunity to their own attack type for five of the turns. And reach it, and, or whatever. That's in the mist walk. That's the rehealing. The suffocate is the one that we have to hold down the heal through. So... Let's see if we are ready for this. I'll suffocate right off the bat. Yeah, that's gonna kind of suck. Unknown threat, we don't care about. It's gonna add the debuff and everything, but we're doing good damage. Get this crushing blow off, drop a big bomb on him. And there we go. Now we get the shield of melee power. So the cool thing is, and this, this is why I was saying you don't wanna take that one that uh, prevents stun from happening because I forgot about this. In fact, we get this shield. It gives you, and you're going to get a different shield for each of the combat styles as you go. So even if we die, as long as we don't lose this, uh, plus temper, even if we back out of this fight, this will be here for the next fight. So plus 10% melee max hit and 10% chance to stun when hitting with a melee attack. Enemies have 5% damage reduction. Oh, I got to pick another one of those before I can go. Um, we need to 2000 max hit point is going to be the one 15% damage reduction and 15% global evasion is lower on the list. Mine plus 10% max hit that is on the do not take list. So we're going to do the 2000 max hit points. So they're a little tankier, but they have less of a max hit. So we'll take that. So that's going to be the next one we've got on here. And I need to go to my bank and lock this. We'll drop that in the next thing there and equip that to passive. So that will be nice. So we'll swap this over to here. That's going to add a lot of extra oomph going forward. Now we, we just took a debuff. So I'm going to go over and start the next portion and we will catch you on the next part of the boss fight. All right, so we are back with the Bane fight. I have, we have to do Magic Bane. I guess it shows the little symbol up here. I was scrolling down to look down here for the attack type, but I've made a couple of changes. I'm going to run Ignite. Well, I don't really want Ignite. I guess I want Gust. Is it Slicing Winds or Gust? Four times apply a stun, which he can't be stunned anyway, but this is only three times for 175, four times for 200. That sounds better. And you get a t accuracy. Yeah, I guess I'll go back to this. Incinerate would actually not be a bad one either. So maybe we'll start with incinerate and try that. We have diamond lux on, which doesn't matter. So I can go to damage reduction. So because I'm using this particular spell, if I switch over to use incinerate, I have an attack rating higher than 20%, way higher than 20%. So this will not miss. It's going to continually burn him down. We're going to try to apply bleed. I switched over to the Elder Crown because it's got a little bit of lifesteal, 
bleed life steal and 100 bleed life steal and a quicker attack interval we've got the burning gem and then we've got this chance to light stuff on fire so we're going to try this uh let's start the fight and just let him burn i need to worry about suffocate that's the one that i absolutely have to pay attention to but if we can keep him burning down everything else is fine there's suffocate that's the one i need to worry about and as long as he catches on fire every so often it's going to keep melting him down as we go and this fight has been this whole fight has been much faster than it was in the past this is actually great not having to worry about being stunned like the the skeletal dragons and all that stuff not having to worry about all the different stuns and everything you take is fantastic all right so we get the shield of ranged power now we have to pick one of these is any of these 50 percent chance to apply burn no plus 10 max hit minus 10 attack interval that might be the one we take 50 percent chance to apply poison when hitting with an attack i guess that's the one i'm going to take because it's on my list here as the number four one we'll try it 50 percent chance to apply a poison the poison poison ticks down but i think it ticks differently than fire does fire ticks constantly i think poison's like once a turn so it's not as bad it's not annoying for the auto eat that's the problem one issue that i've been seeing is with dark waters uh i can't show the monsters on there but with the ranged if i don't switch over to this the if i leave the slayer skill cape on the or not dark waters the uh, uh i'm sorry it's the perilous peaks the I think it's the the magic version of those little greater dragons. Those things suck. I don't know why, but those things are sucking pretty bad. The other thing I would comment on is, oh yeah, we need to switch out to this shield. Get my hit points back. Drop that back into there. Equip that into passive. I'm going to set that over here. This is definitely what I want because it's got more ranged max hit more ranged crit chance and the enemies have five or minus five percent damage reduction. so we're going to switch that out but what i've noticed is those uh those greater dragons in that area hit for like 500 and something whereas this i i don't understand it but they hit way harder than i have damage reduction for so i have to really pay attention to the auto or the the eating portion of it but anyway i'm going to continue on and then we'll be back at the next boss fight all right, I just figured something out. These Wicked Greater Dragons were at like 500 damage. I did not pay attention to what I've been taking, really. And we're at the Bane fight. So I didn't really pay attention to what I've been taking. The One of the things that I took early on was plus 20% max hit. So that's why those things were doing so much damage. I couldn't figure it out. I switched out to the Ancient Infernal Cape to account for it. All right, we're going to do a real quick thing here so I don't forget to swap these over to the negation portion of it. Make sure I've got that taken. And then I'm going to leave this like it is. So he's got zero evasion. If I swap that out, it gives him 5% evasion. So we're going to leave this like it is. We are fighting the ranged version. I don't think there's anything that's going to have to I don't think I'm going to have to worry about anything except for suffocate. We're going to deal with suffocate. I don't want to get hit with that. So I'm going to let this roll and then manually eat when suffocate comes on, which is right now. And as long as he doesn't hit us, we should be good. He's auto, He's healing a little bit along the way, but we're completely obliterating his healing. Here comes suffocate. I'm going to let that run. Nope, not. I'll let that heal go for a little bit. That's fine. I don't want to deal with the suffocate. I don't want to potentially die there. And it shouldn't be. An, yeah, it probably isn't a big deal. All right, so we're through that. We've got shield of magic power. That one takes care of that. Now we need to pick one more thing. 100% uh, chance to ignore stun freeze, immune, and sleep. I'd like not to take that one. Uh, plus 20% max hit and 20 percent accuracy that means they hit harder i guess we're gonna have to take that one much as i don't want to take this one right now we're several into this i think i will take this this means that i can't stun freeze 
I can't stun or freeze any of the enemies. And as much as I don't want to take that, I don't want to take that 20% max hit because I was borderline on surviving some of the trash mobs. Like usually it's the, the earlier stuff that the, um, unalloyed wasteland that hits the hardest, but I don't want to push myself into that borderline. I'd like to stay out of it. I know this is going to give me a, uh, something I really don't want, but we're, this is the fourth choice. There's one more choice left and then we're done. So we'll go back to this thing. And that means I can go over here and lock this. We can drag that off into there and equip that as this passive. But that's why those one dragons were doing so much more damage as that uh, effect. Anyway, continuing on. And while this is going, I'll throw some quick thoughts out here. Not having to worry about, uh, like, I just fought the the greater skeletal dragon. Not having to worry about being stunned. Even if I get stunned, it doesn't matter. It's just a turn of not doing damage. I don't have to worry about all the 30% the extra damage you take. It doesn't look like anything gives you sleep. So I haven't really had to care about any of the incoming damage at all, as long as it's under my auto-eat. And the cool thing is, like... With this sword, I'm doing 2,700 damage just by default. So as long as this thing connects, I'm hitting pretty hard. These things are dying fast. Like everything in this has been dying very quickly so far. It's been great. This is, and I'm 47, well, 40 some minutes into it, 45 minutes, somewhere in there. I've been leaving the timer up there to go. But this has gone so much faster and this is much less of a headache of a fight, which is great. Because this fight used to take a few hours to complete. So, yeah, I'm, this is way more better than it used to be. And we're back with the next Bane fight. I just realized I also put damage reduction on and forgot to change that off. So, 10% damage reduction is why I've not been seeing the, the increased damage that I thought I was supposed to be seeing. So, as I was saying, this is a far different fight. This, this whole dungeon has been far different uh, with the advent of the, the, the ancient relics, the fact that number one, the cartography, uh, slayer area negation is huge in the doubling of everything with astrology is huge, not having any negatives in agility. Like this has made this so much faster. I remember that when we fought this fight, before you were kind of hanging on the edge of your seat you would build up so many stacks like the monsters would build stacks up faster than you could get out of it and you'd be manually eating i'm barely manually eating in fact i just mainly through the this fight here uh we need to worry about suffocating in which he's doing right out of the gate but look at that we did a massive hit <laughs> right off the bat i got that big un uh i also don't think you know the last time i did this fight I don't think we, well, in fact, the last time I did this fight, I don't think we had damage reduction on that sword. So I would have never used this, even if it had that crushing blow. He's dead. That's it. Game over. Done. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to pick this. So 15% damage reduction and 15% global evasion would be... We could do the Slayer effects are 5% stronger. I don't think that would matter too much. Um, do I want to do that, though? Because as it is, I'm five. is, I'm over 5%. I could probably get by with that. 5% damage reduction means they're going to take less damage. I think in this particular case, I'm going to go with the Slayer area effects are 5% stronger. I know that's on the no-no list. That's like one of the ones you don't want to take. But with all the stuff that we have right now, this they're going to heal 5% of their hit points every two turns, which I could get rid of if I change this uh, melee power thing out. I think I'm going to try this and see how it goes. If need be, I can throw the cowl on and fix this. It's going to make things a little bit harder hitting or uh, potentially bad on this first part with this, but everything else is zero with everything equipped. So we'll see how this goes. 
And we'll come back here just before the final boss. This is the the very end of everything. Man, I remember back in the early days of this, you had to these stacks would build up so quickly like you've get a, they get a 50% chance to do stacks and it's just uh like it's kind of amazing that some of the problems that we had back in the day are just not here today. That gives me that gives him some evasion rating. You know what? I think this is perfect. I don't think I care about the evasion rating because my chance to hit is low, but I'm using this, which if accuracy rating is higher than 20,000, which it is, I don't miss. So this fight should be an absolute cakewalk, and this is the end of it. We could do, in fact, we could also toss on, can I just be greedy and toss the ring of power on? Just like total greed. Let's see how this goes. We've got damage reduction on. I don't need... So the reason I turned the diamond luck off was because of this doesn't miss. I haven't needed diamond luck. I just went with those damage reductions. And uh, all right, let, let, let's do this. We need to worry about suffocate. And is it... Yeah, oh, here comes suffocate. But with the burns going on and everything, as long as I get a shot into him, it... Like every time the burns just do so much damage, like this is just a great fight. <laughs> this is so much easier, so much easier. And every one of these is an incinerate. I've got a 1.9% or 1.9 second attack interval. I guess maybe I should watch some of these stacks and everything. Just let it kind of not go. But this is so much an, of an easier fight. Overwhelming power. What's this do? 255. Probably should watch that. But I haven't had to be concerned about it. Like, I remember back in the day, you used to build up 50 stacks, and you should be holding on for dear life to the manual heal button. And now we're done. That's it. Dungeon done. Cool. So we've now unlocked this with the pet, which gives me one minus 1%. 1 all enemies have one minus 1% 1 damage reduction. We've unlocked all the skills to 100. We now have fishing and cooking. I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be working on some fishing. Nice. So we've got all the skills to 100, which means, ah, oh man, that's like a whole new avenue. I don't know what to do first. <laughs> um, I, I do know what to do first. I'm going to go over here and go fishing, and we're going to go do this. That's going to be the first thing we do is work on fishing. Uh, cooking, man, this, this Throne of the Herald expansion is going to be kind of interesting to go through like this. And we need to swap over to uh, the skilling. But the cool thing is we now have all this skilling stuff. Actually, you know what? I could toggle off this, 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 and this. And then we can go and equip the net. We've got, I've already got the amulet of fishing. And I don't think I have any fish hooks. So yeah, I've already got a whole ton of benefits coming in. I should probably go work on this. Work on Ameria. Get this thing finished out so I get double all this. Double the fishing skill. Double, you know what? That probably, that's probably the better idea. We'll do this. I now have level 100. <laughs> Did that unlock anything in astrology? Did we get, oh, we do. And we get this. So maybe this is the one I want to work on. Level this up, double everything in here first. All right, cool. So yeah, uh, impending darkness is down and we are ready to move forward with everything. Uh, I may still come back and pick up some stuff from uh, Atlas of Discovery, but this video, I don't know how long this is going to be, but it's been an hour and 10 minutes, of about an hour of me sitting here roughly because it, it wasn't a complete hour and 10 minute recording. I'm, I've got my little clock up here. It was... I. I had a little bit of downtime before I started this a couple minutes anyway, and then a couple of bathroom breaks or whatever. But basically one hour to do impending darkness is phenomenal because I think it used to be about two hours. So I have no idea how long this video is, but that will do it for this one. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.